All right, guys, it finally happened. We got huge, huge, huge news. Uh, it's official. Joe Biden has dropped out of the 2024 presidential election. Uh, he's done with his campaign. He's stepping down. Now, he's not stepping down as president of the United States. He's going to finish his term as president of the United States, but he is officially suspending his campaign and not running for re-election. So uh, here, I'm going to read you the letter that he just sent out. Let's dive into it. My fellow Americans, over the past three and a half years, we have made great progress as a nation. Today, America has the strongest economy in the world. We've made historic investments in rebuilding our nation, in lowering prescription drug costs for seniors, and in expanding affordable health care to a record number of Americans. We've provided critically needed care to a million veterans exposed to toxic substances, passed the first gun safety law in 30 years, appointed the first African-American woman to the Supreme Court, and passed the most significant climate legislation in the history of the world. America has never been better positioned to lead than we are today. I know none of this could have been done without you, the American people. People. Together, we overcame a once in a century pandemic and the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression. We've protected and preserved our democracy and we're revitalized and uh, strengthened our alliances around the world. It has been the greatest honor of my life to serve as your president. And while it's been my intention to seek reelection, I believe it is in the best interest of the party and the country for me to stand down and to focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president uh, for the remainder of my term. I will speak to the nation later this week in more detail about my decision. For now, let me express my deepest gratitude to all those who have worked so hard to see me reelected. I want to thank Vice President Kamala Harris for being an extraordinary partner in all this work. And let me express my heartfelt appreciation for the American people for the faith and trust you have placed in me. I believe today what I, have, what I always have, that there is nothing America can't do when we do it together. We just have to remember that we are the United States of America. Okay, so, so he's... No longer running for re-election. The other big piece of news is he's uh, fulfilling his term as president. So he's not also stepping down as president. Now, the other big piece of news, which did a little twisty on us in a second that I'll give to you. But the other big piece of news is based on this initial letter, he did not endorse Kamala Harris. He did not say, this is my heir apparent. I want her to be the one. Uh, let's not have an open convention. Let's not make it messy. Let's go right with Kamala Harris. So in this letter, he didn't say that. But then immediately after this letter was released... He kind of does come out and say that. So he tweets, my fellow Democrats, I have decided not to accept the nomination and to focus all of my energies on my duties as president for the remainder of my term. My very first decision as the party nominee in 2020 was to pick Kamala Harris as my vice president, and it's been the best decision I've made. Today, I want to offer my full support and endorsement for Kamala to be the nominee of our party this year. Democrats, it's time to come together and beat Trump. Let's do this. So in other words, he's saying, I do. I do want it to be Kamala. I do want her to be my heir apparent. I do want us to not have an open convention. I want to go in this direction. Now, look, going with Kamala has the benefit of all of the hundreds of millions of dollars that uh, Biden has raised. That can just go directly to Kamala, right? There's no weird legal loopholes or anything like that. Um, there's no hurdles. It's just she gets that money and everything's hunky-dory. So there's a, a process reason why they would want to go in this direction. Um, but having said that, it is possible to take those hundreds of millions of dollars that Biden has raised, and then you transfer them to a super PAC, and then you have an open convention, and it could be it could be somebody not named Kamala Harris who wins, and then that money can be spent on that candidate in that way, right? So look, I think Biden was the weakest in terms of electoral chances against Trump, and all the polling shows that. Um, I think Kamala is way better positioned than Biden, but I do also think she's the second weakest option. Right. So ideally, at this point, I would like to see more of an open convention. I would like people like J.B. Pritzker and Josh Shapiro and Gretchen Whitmer and Gavin Newsom and all these people to throw their hat in the ring and uh, to figure it out that way. I think the safest ticket you can get is a generic Democrat ticket where there's not much dirt on them. Trump doesn't have much he could throw at them. And they're just generic Democrats because all the polling shows that a generic Democrat is six points up uh, on Trump in a general election. So I think that's the preferable path with his initial letter it looked like that's the direction he was going to go in but then immediately after that he tweets basically like no uh, full support and endorsement for Kamala Harris so they're trying to say it's going to be Kamala it's going to be Kamala so are we going to have a coronation um maybe it looks like maybe I, I think there's still some hope for an open convention but I also think it's very likely now that with Biden leading the way and saying Kamala 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 you're gonna have all the other uh, Democrats fall in line and say Kamala, Kamala, Kamala. So, but again, I will say at the end of the day, I'm I'm happy he's stepping down, man. Um, his ego had gotten out of control. It was really, really unacceptable. Uh, he was was putting himself not only above the party but also above the country. He's not fit. He can't do it. He just can't. His brain's not there anymore. He's in cognitive decline. You have a lot of doctors who are saying, I can diagnose him with Parkinson's from across the mall. They had a Parkinson's expert on NBC saying, he has it. There's no doubt about that. Um, so, 
it, it was just time. It was just time. And the past few days, there were all these stories. One day it'd be, oh, he's going to step down and it's going to be this weekend and he's more open to the arguments now. And then, you know, three hours later, a story would come out. No, he's defiant and he's doubling down and he's tripling down and it's not happening. Um, but apparently it just happened. So it was Pelosi and Obama were allegedly working behind the scenes. Uh, the, the establishment Democrats were really applying pressure and saying, you're going to drag the whole ticket down with you. And uh, finally, he decided, I got to relent. I don't know how I could run with basically my entire party being against me. I think that's his thinking. So he put his ego aside, and maybe there's a little bit of medical stuff that factors into it. Maybe he's more aware than we thought of what's going on cognitively with him, uh, or his family knows, and they finally uh, grew some empathy. I don't know. I can't know the exact reason, but either way, I think this is the best move that he could possibly make, uh, given the circumstance. At the end of the day, I don't have many kind words for Joe Biden anymore. I think on economic stuff, he was the best president of my lifetime, but uh, the genocide in Gaza sort of wipes that all clear. Like, I don't care. If you're, if you're overseeing and arming and funding a genocide, fuck off, right? Like, you're a war criminal. I hate you. Now, having said that, in this narrow sense, uh, I'm happy he decided I'm not going to drag the country down with me. It was time for him to go. He finally made the right decision. And we'll see what happens from here. It looks like it might be a coronation of Kamala, but there is a possibility it's an open convention. But there you have it. Big, big, big news. It finally happened.